GTTV, and we back again. What's up with you? Back with another one. I just had to just make this video because look, man, I don't. I did some thinking, and I've come to the conclusion, the fair conclusion, that Manny Pacquiao might have the most heart in boxing history. We're gonna explain ourselves. <coughs> When we talk about heart, we talk about the stuff that makes people great. As a boxing purist, I understand that side. When we want to see the best go against the best. But now that money has come into boxing and boxing is booming, people rather be safe than sorry. Rather get this bag over here. It's a little easier to get in that bag, even though you get more in that bag. But I can save that bag and let it grow. The boxing bullshit side. There's some people cut from a different cloth, which I don't seem to think that they exist many, many, much of these people. But, you know. Understand that the era we're gonna go into. Pacquiao is the last of 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 a fighter with heart. Now let's understand this guy started. I think he started at 112, if I'm not wrong, right, if I'm not mistaken. He went up eight weight divisions. Some people don't even go up two weight divisions, let alone three. You know? Then there's a, a superb athletes like Floyd Money Mayweather who went up five. But ain't nobody went up six, seven, eight, like ever. Ever. In history. Never happened. Look it in the book. Look, name a fighter. There's none. Manny Pacquiao is the only person who's done that. So when they say, oh, Floyd's on front. Floyd Mayweather was fighting in that division. He moved up five weight classes. He shouldn't have been in that division. Manny shouldn't even have been touching those fighters in that division. That's like Floyd Mayweather going up to super middleweight. We didn't want him to go up middle to we didn't want him to go up to middleweight to fight Triple G. That's the that's the type of comparison you gotta understand of somebody in the weight classes. Understand how much that plays a factor into your greatness being able to move up and just fight bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and that's why he's a pac-man he was just going after bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger opponents knocking him out as he went through and this is why you know what i'm saying like to me that's greatness you know a lot of people i don't know man i know what i started noticing is this more casual fans that say like floyd mayweather and stuff and but you know you can ask Max Kellerman, who somebody watches boxing and understands what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Because he says Pacquiao is one of the greatest ever. It's greater than Floyd. Which I, it is true. If you are, if you really understand boxing, if you've been following boxing for a little bit, when you go into the purity of it. But there's a lot of, you know, extracurricular activities now with the money situations that they have to abide by. And they feel like they got to go this certain route because that's the way that everybody's going, trending, and da-da-da-da. We can talk up the fight for two, three years and make it fucking a big fight, which is a great strategy. And it works, but like I said, Manny Pacquiao, the last of the last of the Mohicans, man. We ain't never gonna see nothing like that again, man. And I just needed to make a tribute to that, that he probably has the most heart in boxing ever. Gee! Take 